Hi, my name is Scott Michael Tokunaga. This white cane represents to me is the opportunity, the opportunity to teach in environments like Minnesota and Arizona. I can remember the first day that I worked with a student in Minnesota where it was literally 10 degrees and I was working with him for the first time in snow. You know, growing up in Hawaii, I never had that opportunity to work with students in the snow. So that really represents to me the opportunity to work with him. And then working here in Arizona, getting off that plane that first time in Yuma, where it was 110 degrees. And, you know, working with, you know, a student for the first time in Yuma, you know, having them work out where it's like 105 degrees, you know, that just shows me that the, the opportunity that I have, you know, this came represents for me is that opportunity that I had in my life. Hey, I'm Jordan Moon from Savvy Services for the Blind, and this right here is my cane, and I love this thing. It's powerful. It's a tool, but not only that, it's a symbol, a symbol of hope, a symbol of resiliency, and a symbol of freedom. Um, before I got the skills and the knowledge um, and the power behind the cane, uh, I thought the cane was just meant for protection, but really to protect uh, other people from me. But now the cane is a sense of empowerment. It's a, it's a tool that allows me to say, hey, I don't care, look at me, I am blind, but I'm able to walk as fast as anybody else. I'm able to detect corners, I'm able to detect walls, I'm able to tap my cane to hear echo. Um, the cane doesn't stop me, and you should not let it stop you. And we are proud to celebrate White King Safety Day 2020. <laughs>
So it does pretty much open some doors, especially now during COVID, you know, like, cause you don't want to touch people. Um, you just use your cane to get around and you'll be good.